<sighs> Fuck! Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Cyber 2 back at again, y'all. And I'm just so. Oh. I've been playing Battlefield 2042 and Vanguard for a collectively a good amount of time now. And. I'm just fucking done with these fucking games, man. I don't even fucking know anymore. I really don't. Because like I said in my last video, I gave Vanguard a 6 out of 10. Slightly above average. And I told you not to fucking buy the game. Because it's fucking boring. It's literally a little bit unfucking finished There's no fucking content in the game. And the old content we give is maybe going to last the average player 8 hours. So I said it's not even worth $60. Don't fucking buy it. Should I give it a 6 out of 10? Yes, because the quality that is there is 6 out of 10. But there's just not enough of it. Honestly, I should give it a 5 out of 10. Fucking average. But I'm just being a little bit generous because I did really enjoy the campaign. And the multiplayer is a lot better than it was in the fucking beta. But you know what? Fuck it, right? Both, it's still an unfinished piece of fucking game. And here comes Battlefield 2042. A little bit later than was expected, right? I pre-ordered the game because it looked fucking good. And the beta was... Eh, okay, there was a lot of the stuff I didn't like about the beta. The beta was fucking shit, was not optimized, nothing fucking registered, bullets didn't register, it was laggy, it was glitchy, it was fucking garbage, it was just as bad as fucking Vanguard's beta, to be honest with you. And there was really nothing to do. Well, here comes the full release. I bought a field 2042, and I'm just fucking saying, I'm fucking pissed off, man. This is not the fucking game I pre ordered. No fucking way. First of all, you're already kind of in a downfall since you don't have a fucking campaign. And I gotta be honest, this is a fucking battlefield where you need a campaign. The opening scene of this game has, is really fucking interesting. And it totally could be relatable. Like, come on, imagine the whole world gone into apocalypse fighting one another because resources are gone. We don't have enough resources anymore. And the two greatest superpowers are about to bump heads for the resources that are left. Sounds fucking awesome, right? But there's no fucking campaign. Nope, what would you do without no fucking campaign? Go fuck yourself. We're gonna give you maybe 10 minutes of fucking like campaign worthy content and say fuck a you. That's Battlefield 2042. 42 for you in a fucking nutshell and this game is fucking terrible and it is i've actually been noticing there's been a lot more fucking glitches on the pc versions and the uh, few and the new gen consoles of fucking bullets not registering where i've literally seen people fire full fucking mags into people and they don't fucking die they just literally just don't fucking die Another fucking glitch that I've seen happen right in front of my fucking eyes is helicopters don't fucking work in this game. They just don't fucking work. For some weird reason, you shoot them and they do this some sort of floopity whoopity doo da bullshit and you crash and die. So helicopters is a fucking piece of shit. And I honestly like helicopters. I'm the, that's the only air vehicle I'm good at piloting. If I'm going to be completely honest with you, I suck at flying jets. And... Oh, you know, the last time that I actually really enjoyed Battlefield, within the past, like, few three to four releases of the game, the last good one, I would say, is probably Battlefield 3. Because the fucking game was finished on release. Like, holy fuck. Like, there, there is a considerable difference between games now and way back in the day. For example, think of Battlefield 3. What was it going up against at the time? Call of Duty and Modern Warfare 3. Probably the last good Call of Duty that some people would say in the community that we've had. And you know what's something different about those games than the games that we have now? Is that those games were fucking finished. There was content to do, there was unlockables, there was tons of challenges to fucking do in the games. And the content was fucking there. I've never been so bored of a fucking progression system than I have and have been in fucking Battlefield 2042. It's so fucking boring, there isn't even fucking ranks. It's just a fucking bar with a number above it. 
It's literally a fucking gray bar with a fucking number above it. That's literally all that your fucking rank is. It's not even interesting as it was in Battlefield fucking 4, where they had, you know, fucking actual ranks like sergeants, and they actually even got even more accurate and actually had ranks from the marines in there. And also, you know, they had, like, things like the general ranks, brigadier generals, you know, and fucking Colonel 100. That was a fucking joke for Battlefield. Now, what the fuck do we get, Battlefield? EA? A fucking gray bar with a number above it. <laughs> fucking awesome, great rank progression. Fuck yeah, that's gonna make me keep wanting to fucking going. Another terrible thing is the fucking calling cards. All of them that you can even unlock in the game, which there is quite a few you can unlock in the game. They all fucking suck. They all look like shit. And most of them are just fucking pictures of the fucking operators. Oh my god, that's fucking awesome. Woo! No fucking content there. And I don't know. The only good thing so far that is in Battlefield 2042 is fucking portal mode. Because normal fucking multiplayer in this game is fucking still, it's still garbage, okay? It's still fucking garbage. It, it's just a hot fucking mess. Like, I'll, put, I'll give you this. It works fucking better than it does in the fucking beta, but whoo, it just doesn't make sense. It, it really doesn't make sense to me. Like, why the fuck do you restrict vehicles in gameplay? When clearly, in fucking Portal, you could have more than one fucking tank on the map. In Portal, there's fucking three for each side. Why do you restrict it to two tanks on each side in normal multiplayer? What the fuck is the difference? Like, what? It doesn't make sense to me. Why do you restrict this? On even the old gen, when you say, oh, the new gen will have more fucking content. What the fuck? It doesn't make sense to me. It literally does not make sense to me. The only good thing is though, is like the actual fucking graphics of the characters and the maps look like 10 times better than they do. The only thing I don't like is for some odd weird reason, they look a little bit more cartoony and a little bit more skinnier. I still say Battlefield 4 has had the best graphics in any Battlefield game to this day, if compared to Battlefield 5 and Battlefield 1. And honestly, if I'm going to be completely honest with you, there is more fucking content than there is in fucking Battlefield 5 right now than there is in Battlefield 2042. If, if, I'm not even mistaken. There's only maybe one third of the whole fucking content in this fucking game compared to Battlefield 5. Battlefield 5 has more guns, more vehicles, more customization, and in fact, better fucking customization. The only thing I don't like is that it takes for fucking ever to unlock, but it is what it is. It just doesn't make fucking sense to me. It literally does not make sense to me. And even the exclusive content you get for buying the Ultimate Edition really isn't fucking good. I'll be honest with you. Fucking Cold War has you beat on that shit for the Ultimate Editions. I sorry, I hate to say it, Battlefield, but they way fucking beat you on that shit. At least you got three operators, cool fucking skins for your operators, and also got three awesome blueprints that are really fucking good. And even, like, two other exclusive blueprints. So, the content in Call of Duty Vanguard for the pre-orders and their editions is way better than for Battlefield. Like, come on, what the fuck is going... Like, this is just dog shit. It's so fucking boring, there's no fucking content. Like, I remember when there was actually stuff to do in fucking games. Now, it seems like it's a fucking mystery now to find fucking content. You gotta wait like fucking five years for the fuck game to have content. But once, uh, you know, like, you gotta wait a whole fucking year. For example, Cold War actually has fucking content. Fucking now, it's been a year. But holy shit, there's actually content in the fucking game. And it actually is a lot better now. It's actually fun. Battlefield 2042, fucking boring. What's even worse is that e both games, including Vanguard, are fucking suffering from like having no fucking players because I've joined games on both fucking... I've joined games in Vanguard with literally Team Deathmatch 6v6 and it's literally 4v4. Yeah. Makes no fucking sense, right? Because the game just came out and Battlefield 2042 is having the same fucking problems. 
literally the same fucking part. I would join a game, like, uh, fresh out the bat, started the game. There was literally no enemies for, like, ten minutes until the lobby actually filled up. Yeah, there was nobody to fucking play against besides, I think, like, two motherfuckers, and that was it. And by the time they fucked the rest of the enemy team joined, we already had, like, fucking half their fucking tickets eliminated. There's no fucking content. There really isn't. Even in the portal modes, there's only like a limited amount of customization and a limited amount of weapons, which is okay, right? Because what's even worse is that in the fucking like portal modes, even the limited amount of content they give you is more fucking content than there is in the actual fucking standard game, which to me doesn't even make fucking sense. Like there is no fucking weapons. There's literally no fucking weapons. I think there's like, what, six fucking assault rifles? There's like four SMGs. There's like four sniper rifles, four marksman rifles. There's no fucking content. Even fucking Battlefield 4 released with more fucking weapons than this bullshit. It's like fucking Battlefield Hardline all over again. Like, there was like no content in Battlefield Hardline. It wasn't worth the 60 fucking dollars. Same fucking thing with this game. Hello, EA, don't you fucking learn? Put content in your Battlefield game. And fucking actually finish the fucking game. Because it still plays like ass. There's still a lot of fucking bugging issues. Movement issues are definitely a problem. Vehicle movement is so fucking just garbage. It's just, ugh. I just wish I could get a fucking finished game in fucking 2021. But nope, I guess fucking not. I can't get a fucking finished game. No, to be honest, if I was to rate fucking Battlefield 2042, it gets the same rating as Vanguard. 5 out of 10. Fucking average. Reason why is because, sure, you can play it for fucking 4 hours, 8 hours maybe if you're playing with friends. But after that, there's really fucking nothing else to do. Like, this game is only fun when you're playing with friends. You're playing by yourself, there's no fucking content to unlock. And when even the content that is there to unlock is fucking boring. It looks like dog shit. You literally get most of the fucking operators unlocked when you first start the fucking game, besides fucking two of them. And you unlock them within like five hours, like two hours, because it only requires getting to level 25, which is pretty fucking easy. You rank up at least like five times every fucking match if you do fucking decent. And, eh. The cool thing is though, is they kind of have that animation show at the end where they show like who has the most this, the most that, the most this, and also like warrior squad placed. That's kind of cool. That's a that's a new thing to Battlefield that I like. I mean, it was technically in Battlefield 5, but here it looks 10 times cooler. As in Battlefield 5 was just a fucking walking animation. This one actually has some actual variety to it. It kind of make reminds me of, you know, fucking Black Ops 3 when they did like that whole like showcase, you know, thing at the end of the game. And I kind of liked it. It was different. And then they have it here. So it's not bad. It's not turbo. But just like, oh my dear lord, baby Jesus Christ. This game is just so fucking buggy, man. It's, oh. The only thing is, though, unlike, it's playable compared to the beta. Like, I could literally physically could not play the beta of Battlefield 2042. That's how bad it was. It was just terrible. At least here, I can actually fucking play the game. Somewhat. There's still plenty of fucking bugs. And there's even more bugs on the new gen and PC than there is on old gen. Which, to me, doesn't make sense. Because the game isn't still optimized for old gen in terms of like, like optimization in the graphics and shit, it just isn't there yet. Ugh. But you know what? I digress. It is what it is. I can't. It's just I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. I'm just really am more disappointed than anything at this point in both fucking games, because both of them are good in certain ways, but they're just completely fucking terrible in other ways. So it's like, just fuck. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and this little rant that I made on this video. And I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Peace out.